Hey guys, welcome back to Trending on Enyola Badmos TV. Here are the trending stories for today. Nigerian singer Aza does beats COVID-19. Pastor Chris Oyakilome calls government guidelines for opening religious centers wicked. Details in just a little bit. Veteran singer Olale Kofadi, popularly known as Azados, is one of the lucky ones to have recovered from the dreaded COVID-19 disease in Lagos. Azados was admitted into one of the isolation centers in Lagos after it tested positive to the virus. The news was first seen on Kenny's 104 FM Instagram page with the caption, Azados is COVID-19 positive and has been admitted into an isolation center in Lagos today. The test was conducted over 72 hours ago when it started exhibiting symptoms of the coronavirus disease. Azados has confirmed the fact that he is being attended to and very comfortable at the isolation center. This was on the 5th of June 2020. However, on the 11th of June 2020, the page again gave an update to the situation, saying, Azados is back home today from the isolation center after being treated and declared free of coronavirus. Azados has however taken to his Instagram page on the 17th of June 2020 to talk about his experience, as well as cautioning everyone to take the viral disease seriously. He wrote, Glory be to God, I just got discharged of COVID-19. Half bread is better than pop puff. That garri in your house is far better than the good meals you won't be able to eat at the hospital. My advice, if you must go out, see everyone as that COVID-19 itself and wash your hands for 40 seconds at the least. Meanwhile, if you insist that COVID-19 is not real, COVID-19 is not in Nigeria or Africa. Ha! Well, don't be shy to ask me questions. Please kindly say a word of prayer for Lagos State Government under our super caring governor, G.D. Sonwulu. God bless him, he wrote. Well, Azados has also posted daily tips on COVID-19 and has tried as much as possible to debunk some rumors. We wish him stable health in the coming days. Hi wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that there's pandemic in the lab, we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe still on trending today pastor chris oyakilome is again in the news for his opinion on covid19 and he has succeeded in throwing jabs on the government saying those scared of touching people with covid19 are not part of those spreading the true gospel of christ because christ was never scared of any disease he also called some of the guidelines put in place by the government to help tackle the coronavirus in nigeria wicked let's check out the video you cannot believe in jesus christ and be afraid of viruses Jesus touched the lepers yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, he sir. touched the lepers yes, and healed them <laughs> because the Bible is clear but these people who are afraid are pretending to represent Christians to 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 the government it's a shame I think the government leaders are laughing at them because if you are a Christian and you say you are a minister of the gospel, what gospel? What? You, don't, you have no gospel. If you are afraid of a virus, you have no gospel. Your gospel has ended. Yes. The moment you began to give such guidelines to people in the church, you repudiated yes. your faith in Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's as simple as that. Once you started telling the churches that they should listen to science and and which was not science yes. you know you false science pseudoscience telling them to listen to this kind of things the moment you started that you backslid so 
I, I tell you that many of those ministers, they need prayers. You know, they need prayers. And we have to pray for many, many pastors and leaders who are scared of the disease. And um, they are the ones that are actually, if, maybe you don't know this. The reason many churches are still shut down is not just because of government. It's because of the church leaders who insisted to government not to let the churches open. Except the churches follow these wicked guidelines. Hi, wonderful people. My name is Eniola Badmos. And of course, I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course, all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much, guys. And guys, please do not forget that there's pandemic in the lab. We need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe there are wicked guidelines that if you want to lay hands one of those guidelines if you want to lay hands on the sick you should wear a glove to lay hands on the sick wow. this is crazy Totally and that holy communion should be suspended holy communion that jesus told us to take we are told to suspend them because of a pandemic this is crazy Absolutely. you see god's people need to realize what is going on I, I spoke to a group of pastors recently and what I said to them was what they're planning is unknown to them the ultimate tool for persecution so that the churches and the Christians that decide that they will follow Jesus Christ with all their hearts will now be singled out and persecuted and who will persecute them the same people that persecuted jesus they were the religious crowd yes. the pharisees of today yes, sir. they are the ones preparing to persecute their brothers and sisters because they have told government that they are ready to supervise how will they supervise by sending out their their members with cane or with what to go to other churches and report the churches they are going to be spies well guys what do you think about this do drop a comment in the comment section down below and let us know what you feel about the stories today remember to like and subscribe to Anyola Badmos TV before you go see you soon hi wonderful people my name is Anyola Badmos and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Bibles TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news you can get to what different entertainment updates and of course all the news going all around the world guys do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content thank you so much guys and guys please do not forget that there's pandemic in the lab we need to take responsibilities and follow government rules by washing our hands we should use alcohol based sanitizer we should maintain social distancing we should use nose mask to be protected above all guys let's stay safe